Hello and welcome to the Switch Underground, my name is Danny and I took off my flannel so we can pretend that I didn't record two of these episodes in a row. So in our last episode we uh, went through the prelude, our parents that weren't our parents were following around, we got, uh, we got our hands and mouth on some saucy dogs, and now we are back to explore Melee Island and find us a backer for uh, our adventure to find the real secret of Monkey Island for LeChuck Does. So, uh, first, let's check the screen just to see if we can interact with anything. That's the old pirate. Uh, we head to the island interior or... Oh, I guess that decision was made for us. We are heading this way. I don't see anything for us to... Oh, well, there we go. Re-elect Governor Carla. Anyway, hope everybody's having a good day, man. If it's morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are, I hope it is a great one. Looks like we are at the docks. This should be LeChuck's ship. I better get cracking if I want to get to the secret before that scheming blackguard. Yes. This is the scum bar. Head to the low street. I wish there was a map. There probably is a map, I just don't know how to use it, or it's not, or there's no map at all. Time to talk to some salty sea dogs, man. Alright, we got pirates in the back. The music is like, totally changes to like a rock riff that is sweet. Let's talk to everybody in the front first. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. In the back. I'm here to talk to the- In the back. Okay. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. Let me guess. In the back? I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. Ooh, a trivia book, huh? It's a book for storing collectible trivia cards. Looks like someone just left it here unattended. Should we take it? Let us take it. In the back of the scum bar is... A fishing trophy, a cellar, a giant whale, the kitchen. Oh, well, this is interesting. Looks like a circus act. Maybe. So there's probably a ton of throwbacks here that I'm going to miss, but it's because I haven't played any of the Monkey Island games. Well, I played the most recent one, like, probably like five years ago. And then I played uh, this one that they're referencing here probably over 20 years ago, so... Let's talk to some pirates here. I really need to talk with the pirate leaders first. Well, it smells good in there, which tells us it's probably a kitchen. Bingo. Got it. Alright. Let's see if they're the gonna back our well? venture. This is their table. In fact, you'd probably better move. You don't want to get caught sitting here. It's our table, Rummy. We're the pirate leaders. Get lost. I hadn't heard there was a change of leadership. Oh no. Did nobody remember to notify you? Maybe your party invite got lost in the mail. Hmm. <laughs> Where are the three older guys who used to hold court here? Who cares? Probably crying in an alley somewhere, wishing they were still relevant. Making up trials for each other and writing memoirs that no one will read. She is aggressively carving something into that table, is she not? Is it you I should talk to about financing an expedition? An expedition? Who is it that you think you are exactly? Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Probably you've heard of me. Probably not. Permission to slaughter the annoying old wastrel man, Captain Madison? Do it. Wait, it was Captain Madison? She's like famous! I've got her on a trading card. Her plunder stats are amazing! Plunder stats aren't everything. Then the others were Captain Lila and Captain Trent? It was Lila who threatened to kill you? Look, they weren't that great, okay? Listen to the story. Want me to slaughter him? Don't bother. He's just a harmless hack who thinks he has a good idea for a pirate raid. I love how, like, 
we're doing all these like throwback things, but I still look like I'm the old guy. It's not exactly a raid. Man, I am what grizzled. What else would we be interested in? I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. You're wasting our time. The secret? I didn't think that was even a real thing. It's a prize of incalculable monetary value. I don't know about incalculable. Quick, who can count to zero the fastest? Uh. <laughs> oh, she's got the jokes. <laughs> okay, I'm sensing some reluctance, but hear me out. Would you at least consider advancing me some funds? It's a surefire investment. Triple your money or your money back. Not interested. I could make it worth your while to help me hire a crew. The percentage of their earnings or something? No one in here wants to chase your pipe dream. Could you at least point me towards an available ship? You don't even have a ship? You're really up a creek. Up a creek without a ship. <laughs> If you don't take this opportunity, LeChuck will grab it. LeChuck? Yes, the dreaded zombie ghost pirate LeChuck himself mm -hmm. is also going after the secret. He's here in Melee getting ready right now. If that doesn't prove it's a worthwhile venture, I don't know what else to tell you. Great. Problem solved. Excellent. You'll do it. Huh. No, of course not. Why waste money on an expedition when you can just join the one that's already going? Have fun oh, with your maybe that's what I should do. Bye-bye. Well, the slight problem with that idea is that LeChuck and I are basically mortal enemies. <laughs> Bit of a delayed reaction. I don't see what's so funny. <laughs> Fine. I don't need you or your money. I can do this on my own. If I can't buy a ship, I'll steal one. I'm a oh, pirate. Okay. I'll find a way to get to Monkey Island no matter what it takes. Mm, I like the old pirate leaders better. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back in. And this time we're gonna try to go in the back here. Guy Brush Threepwood, as I live and breathe, how have you been? Fine. How's Elaine? She was always my favorite governor. Oh god. Also, she covered your tab when you stopped coming in. Uh, let's see here. I guess I gotta choose. We're apart more often than I'd like. But you're still... Oh yeah, we're still. We've just each got a lot on our plate. It's a two-plate relationship. Well, tell her I say hello. The atmosphere in the bar is different than it used to be. Let's see here. The new pirate leaders. Those new pirate leaders seem like real jerks. Why do you even let them in the bar? Well, they've driven off my old regulars, so I don't have a lot of choice if I want to stay in business. Also, if I tried to get them to leave, they'd probably cut me up and throw me in the soup. Frankly. Yeah, they don't seem I'm like nice people. Of them. On the plus side, they have more disposable income and better hygiene than the old crowd. Let's see, now we get to choose. The atmosphere in the bar is different than it used to be. Yeah, I don't like it, but I've got to cater to the new crowd. Everything changes, Guybrush. But the roaches stay the same. I've missed your wit. And your low alcohol tolerance. <laughs> hey. Low alcohol tolerance. Did I tolerance. mention I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island? No, I don't think you did. Well, that's exciting. So you'll be hiring a ship at the docks? I'm thinking I'll steal one. As far as I know, the only ship out there is LeChuck's. Should Even I better. steal LeChuck's ship, Stone? dude? Bold. I like your thinking. Ooh, I think I hear the health inspector. What? Where? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, that joke <laughs> never gets old. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Thanks. Will do. Wait, why did it give me the health inspector option twice? Ooh, I think I hear the health inspector. What? Where? <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Guess not. Keep, Keep up the up good, good work. work. Thanks. Will do. All right, what can we steal? Well, it's definitely a mop. 
Will you advance me the down payment on a ship if I help you clean up? Put that down before you hurt yourself. What? Clearly there's a lot you don't know about mops. Honestly, I think I prefer to keep it that way. <laughs> Wait, do I not know something about mops? Active little guys, aren't they? Gross. Looks like a mugshot. Steal it. Stay away from that picture. Oh, sorry. Impressive health department it's certificate. It's amazing what you can achieve if you put your mind to it. Then you have a packet of stick-on stars. <laughs> Ooh, there's a trivia card. Pests or garnishes. A good cook sources local supplies when he can. Gross. Food is more exciting when you can smell the risk. All right. What's what you making Ugh, in there? I remember that stench as if it were yesterday. Pleasantly scorching hot. Pleasantly scorching hot, huh? Dude, I am like just hearing noises. What's out here? I think someone tried to secure a boat with this. Got some string, man. The plaque says, in memory of looming seagulls of old. All right. Uh, I think we checked out everything in the kitchen. So we got our string, we got our trivia card, which we should go. Are you sure I can't persuade you to back my expedition check out. to Lucky Island? Let's pretend I was really considering this. What sort of pirate qualifications have you got, exactly? Hmm... I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Ten minutes? Impressive. Really? Well, it's been a while, but I could probably still do ten minutes on a good day. Well, I was a director of combat operations for the British Navy, and I've written two books on ship-to-ship -ship tactics. I'm okay. a founding member and co-director of the Red Fleet and hold records for civilian casualties from San Domingo to Venezuela. I'm an expert in 17 forms of hand-to-hand -hand combat, three of which I invented. I served with Bellamy, Teach, and Roberts before they each met an untimely end that I might have had nothing to do with. Just so you know, this is the kind of resume we expect. Oh. Oh. Okay. Fine. Should I untangle the string? It's hopeless. It's hopeless. My to-do list has what? Get or find a ship. Use a wad of cash to outfit the expedition. Oh, I can't do that. Find the secret of Monkey Island and relive the glory days. Let's see. Trivia card. Morgan Lefley first appeared in... Oh my god, this is, this is really what we gotta do here? Let me use my brain. I, f I wanna say it's... Tails? Escape. Escape. Oh, wait. Just wait, so is the card gone? Now that I got it wrong? Oh no! What a bummer! I'm so sad! Wait, when was my last save? Are we gonna cheat here, dude? Yes, we are. Did I grab my string? Good. Got my string. Still have my trivia card? I do not have my trivia card. You turds. That is... There better be an opportunity to do that again. Nice and hot. I wonder how long I could stand here before bursting into flames. Ooh, there's a trivia card there, isn't there? And what is in this trivia card? Who is the editor of the Pirate Times? I don't know. But I am sad that my freaking trivia card is gone. There's another one right there, isn't there? I'm gonna find the secret of monkey. Good for you. Okay. Dude, I am. That is very annoying. If that trivia card 
does not come back at some point for me to take another shot at it, that is like an OCD gamer's nightmare. I have hopes it does. So I'm not, now I'm like scared to answer any trivia questions. I don't get them wrong. Let's go up here. Ooh, is that Elaine? Elaine? Hey, there she is. Skybrush. The woman of our Wait, dreams. Are you going to tell a mushy part now? Well, a little, but I can skip over the hugs and kisses. Elaine! Guybrush! Let's see here. How's your scurvy prevention project? Wouldn't you happen to have a ship with you? Remind me how long we've been married. Done. Remind me how long we've been married. Well, it still feels like the first day somehow. How's your scurvy prevention project? It's great! We're going to get a lot of limes to a lot of sailors and save a Dude, lot of lives. Dude, her neck I've looks like a piece of a wood. Deal with Captain Madison, though. The pressure she's putting on the town is making it hard for social programs like mine. Uh, sounds like we've both met Captain Madison. I don't like her. She's the one who pushed to shut down the shipyard. She doesn't understand the value of the secret of Monkey Island. She laughed at me! Me too! Obviously, the woman has no taste and a lousy sense of humor. You wouldn't happen to have a ship with you. No, silly. I came on a charter. Just like you. Yeah, I figured that, but it never hurts to ask. I'm finding it harder than I thought to get hold of a ship and a crew for my expedition. Why don't you ask around at the docks? Sure Wait, the, the voodoo something. lady is here? Thanks. I'll try that. Is she going out of business? I feel better just talking to you. Me too. Oh. You've probably got to get going. You say goodbye first. No, you say bye first. No, you say bye first. No, you say... No. Bye. Bye. See you later, Elaine. Criticize the statue. Read the plaque Honoring first. Melee Island's 27th governor, Carla the Swordmaster. Frankly, we were afraid not to. <laughs> All right. The problem with this statue is it's not a statue of Elaine, the best ever governor of Melee. Oh, wasn't that nice? It doesn't look finished. Sketchy graffiti. Well, the voodoo here must be authentic, culturally, and historically accurate. The sign says it's Elaine's flyer about how limes combat scurvy. It's important, but boring. I've never once made it all the way to the end. Shit, can I take it? Let's take it. Elaine would kill me if she caught me pulling down her flyers. Okay. Alright, so we can... At Chamber of Commerce Midnight Luncheon. Back shortly. It's it Wally's like Maps. Got a new place in Melee. I hope he's not still sore about the monocle. Oh man, I feel like so robbed that I don't have like intimate knowledge of like every single Monkey Island game. Or I would be able to appreciate this a whole lot. Property foreclosed by order of Madison Enterprises. Oh, this was my favorite novelty store. And the poor, uh, Property? the poor voodoo place. They're having a half off sale. Let's go. International uh, House of Mojo. International House of Mojo. This place hasn't changed in years. There she is, man. Welcome, Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again. I have been waiting for you. You mean ever since we last saw each you other? I mean, fate ordained that you would be here several minutes ago. Only you can manage to be late, even when you are fated to arrive. Mm. Yep. Allow me to seek knowledge on your behalf. Will it cost me anything? Pride. Free will. Not much. What are we doing here? The way to the secret is like a serpent which swallows itself. Many obstacles lie ahead. Serpent. Yeah, obstacles. like ribs. Got it. You must walk the path. Yet you have already walked the path. And now I'm going back again. 
a book that is dusty when and is now clean. Sure of the way forward. Open this book for guidance on what is to come. Okay. It can tell me my future? In a way. Think of it as a book of hints. I was going to say a book of hints. Use it wisely. To know too much diminishes the voyage. Me? True. Thanks. No charge. Now you must go. I have a luncheon, and your destiny lies at the docks. It no, does. no. Most assuredly. At Chamber of Commerce Midnight Luncheon. Oh, at everybody's, everybody's at the Chamber of Commerce. Hey, it's my horse armor. That does supposed to do nothing in the game. This has gotten me out of a lot of scrapes over the years. This is what you get when you did the pre-order for the game. This totally useless inventory item, apparently. A hint, huh? How do I get my own ship and crew? Talk to people around town, see if they can help. Oh, okay. And so it tells you what to do. That's good. In case we get stuck. What kind of person would just paint on a wall like that? Hold on, I'll go back. This place has kind of gone downhill. Oh, yeah. That clock has been broken for decades now. Elaine would never have stood for this when she was governor. So I see this graffiti here. I feel like I'm going to need it later. So one thing that we have now that we didn't have back in the day is the ability to take pictures. So I'm just going to grab these four symbols here and maybe it will come into play later. High Street. Oh, there's another one. The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. Should I try the door? The note says, forced to close. I, Thanks. That's not what I wanted. The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. The note says, It's like forced not to close, letting me like do the thing. With horns that swallowed a basketball. Hey, old lady. Hi. Everybody thinks they know more than the other. Okay. Once you have a key, you've got to open the door. Okay. Things are not what they seem. All keys are gold. It's the way of keys. No one ever works together. All want their own prize. When they get close to finding it, suddenly they are gone. Who is she describing exactly? Aww, this is where I risked my neck for Elaine, and she showed me she only needed me to risk my heart. Also, the windows need some work. There's more graffiti here. Looks sort of like an eye. I think it's a chandelier. So, oh, the jail. I bet there's somebody in there. But, let's go check out this key spot. Welcome to my shop. Hi. What's up? At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. I see a peninsula trailing off into small islands, but no X marks the spot. It's southern Florida. I have family there. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's this map again? I see a peninsula trailing... It's southern Florida. Okay. Uh, let's see here. What's this lock? That's for hats. Okay. Handsome looking parrot. And also vicious. But it was my mother's favorite. Who is her mom? What's this key? That's for a lockable quiver. And please don't touch the glass. Are these for customers? Not technically but please help yourself that charming old guy who mans the lookout keeps bringing them for the parrot thanks i'll just take a few Ooh, got some crackers 
These are nice. It's a locksmithing test. Close it all up, and if you get the key out, you pass? That's the beginner level, yes. The real challenge is to lock the larger box inside the smaller one. Wait, what? Trivia card. Of course, I am too scared to actually answer it. Has lovely locks. If you have to make a pun, at least make a good one. Oh wait, she's blonde. Or er, she's bald. What is that? It's definitely not a key. Or a lock. It's a fishing lure, of course. Uh, of course. How much do you want for it, lady? How much for the fishing lure? It's not for sale. This is a locksmith's shop. Perhaps you saw the sign outside? I, I did. Just asking. Is that from a famous locksmith band or something? My mother's band? The Golden Keys. They were named after some actual Golden Keys that she spent a bunch of time looking for. What more can you tell me about the Golden Keys? Not much. I was just a kid, and mysteries have never been my thing. Too messy. Well, they're my thing. That's an impressive machine. Yep. This wouldn't be much of a lock shop without a key grinder. All right, let's talk to her. I'm Guybrush Threefoot. Pleased to meet you. I'm Lock Smith. You're kidding, right? Nope. And before you ask, yes, they did. Yes, it was. And they really, really wanted me to follow in the family business. Let's see here. Let's ask about the old lady. Who's the old lady in the window across the way? You mean Whitey Bones. She used to be the undertaker here years ago. Seems to know a lot of things that maybe don't quite fit together. Oh, so if we like listen to her, she'll tell us like she'll give us like Whitey hints. Bones. Not well at all. But she's been living near my shop for quite a few years. She was across from my old location too. Would she moved when you moved? I'm sure it's just a coincidence. Mm-hmm. Can you really make keys for stuff? That seems like a magic trick. Modern locks have serial numbers that tell me all I need to know. No tricks necessary. Just information. It seems wrong that you can make a key from just the serial number. It's a fail-safe, in case people lose their key. You know how people are. Yeah. Aren't locks way less secure if all you need is a number to get a new key? That's why you should never share the serial number with anyone. What happens if you lose your key and the serial number at the same time? The numbers are usually engraved on the locks, just in case. And if you lose the lock, chances are you don't need a new key. Well, what's to stop me reading the serial number on someone else's lock and having a key made? The numbers are printed small enough that you need a special tool to read them. Only a pro would have a tool like that. What? Is that true? Can I borrow your lock serial number reading tool? My magnifier? Not a chance. I could be drummed out of the union for that. If you want to play locksmith, you'll have to look elsewhere. I'm on a quest to find the secret of Monkey Island. Exciting. The story in my family is that the secret is sort of like a key. One that opens all locks at once. Hmm. All at once? Well, how does that work? No idea. It's just a story. But I guess you'll find out soon enough. How would you like to join a pirate crew? Would I have to leave my shop? Well, yes, that's the general idea. The crew actually get on the ship and, you know, crew it. Thanks. I'll pass. No. Try down at the docks. There's always somebody hiring somebody down there. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. I've got a system. And I don't like it disrupted. All right. I think we got everything in here. Now, let's see if we can answer this trivia question. Count the crackers. Enough to last me. What is carved into a tree on the beach on Monkey Island? Oh no. Hmm. I think it's L and E, but I'm too scared to answer now, man, because I don't want my card to disappear. I have to look up all this stuff. All right, let's see here. Let's check out the back alley. It seems to be stuck closed. Ooh, trivia card. Employees only. 
Okay, so do I have anything I can use on this to unstick it? I don't. I've got a few coins for incidentals. Oh, I have money. What does Guybrush say when landing at an island? Bro, a lot of these are pretty, pretty challenging, I think. Okay, so we got a stuck door back here. We got to remember to come back. And let's go visit the jail, and then we'll put a pin in this a one. Visitor. <laughs> <Wait. gasps> it's Stu. Guybrush Threepwood. <laughs> Otis. Howdy, kid. And Stan. Oh, Stan. Howdy, sorry. Pal. You haven't changed much since I last saw you. I blame the government. In fact, didn't we first meet right here? Not at all. I was in the other cell that time. You look different somehow. Uh, no art Older. Style. How nice of you to notice. Big news. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. Again. That sounds fantastic. You know what I remember most about Monkey Island? The time you busted me out of jail right before we went there. I don't cruise ships anymore. But maybe you can still help me out. Like you did all those years ago. Possibly, though it was kind of tricky last time. And I didn't get much out of it in the end. I would be most appreciative. A locksmith has opened very conveniently across the Stan's way. Stan's just tapping his leg. Locksmiths can make keys his for little things. foot. Uh, things like cell doors. Imagine that. What did they get you for this time? I'm a victim of circumstance. Circumstance being that... Too much attention gets paid to little things that don't hurt anyone while hard killers roam the street what did you do? pistols and swords. I notice you didn't say what crime they locked you up for. It was nothing. I was just picking some flowers. In the forest? Uh, no, that's illegal. I learned my lesson. I picked them from the governor's garden instead. Huh? Oh boy. Picking flowers from the governor's garden sounds like an unwise choice. We used to be friends. Sort of. Anyway, they aren't even her flowers. Taxes pay for them. It's public property. I don't know why anyone bothers me about it. I don't hurt anybody. Well, except the flowers. They're annuals. They're doomed anyway. Guybrush, you've got to get me out of here. It's custard night. I don't think I can take that again. I'll make it my number three priority. Thanks. Number three. At least the jail is well lit. Yeah, but the better I can see it, the worse it looks. Okay. I think there's some writing on it, but it's too tiny to read. So we're going to need something to get at that serial number, huh? It says jail rules. One, no escaping. That's it? It says jail rules. One, no escaping. Nope. Oh, okay. Hey, Stan. Hello there, son. Oh, sorry to see you in jail. Thank you, son. I appreciate the thought. I'm sorry to see me here as well. Oh, wow. He's got the jazz hands. I was really hoping to buy a ship from you. Well, now, normally, I would do absolutely anything to get you into a comfortable ride right away. But my hands are tied. They're shackled. I can't do it. Not at any price. I'm completely out of inventory. Every ship on the lot was seized by unscrupulous lawyers who don't care about your sailing needs the way I do. Oh, that's terrible. Believe me, I feel worse about it than you do. Hmm. Could I get a ship from you after you're out of jail? Don't count on it, son. I expect to be released any time, but I haven't even got anything on back order. It pains me to lose a sail, but if you need to get off this island, you're gonna have to find another way. Could you refer me to a competitor? Stab me in the heart. You'd go to a competitor? Where's your loyalty, son? Well, you said you well, had no ships. In jail and have no ships and can't help me, I thought. It doesn't matter anyway. There's no competition. I drove them all out of business long ago. Nobody can play the angles like old Stan. I didn't really anticipate a situation like this one coming up. Any tips on how to steal a ship from someone else? One word, son. Mutiny. Get yourself on board a worthy vessel, gain the confidence of the crew, wait for the right moment, and strike. If you don't get killed, look me up afterwards. Sounds I'll give legit. You a good price for anything that can stay above the waterline. Naturally, it'll have to be store credit until I get back on my feet. 
Okay. Well, thanks, I guess. Anything I can do to help you, let me know. As long as it doesn't involve selling you a ship. <laughs> what did you do that got you arrested? Let me tell you something, son. It's not what a man does that matters. It's who he is. Maybe one day, in a moment of weakness, he crosses a line. But if he's uh -oh. confident about what's in his heart, he can hold his head high. Stan. And you know what's in my heart, son? Blood and goopy stuff? People. People are in my heart. Anything I may have allegedly done, you can be sure I did it because I care about people. Hmm. Would it help if I broke you out of jail? Now that's a kind offer, it truly is. Warms me to think that you'd do that for your old pal Stan. But I've got to think about the optics. I don't want to damage my case, and escaping from jail doesn't look good at trial. So thanks, but no thanks. What exactly did you allegedly do for people that got you arrested? I gave them what they wanted. Now naturally, people don't always know that they want the things they want. Sometimes it takes a man with a talent like mine to show them the way. And sometimes people who are jealous of that sort of talent will try to put all sorts of unpleasant labels on it. They use hurtful words like scam and oh misrepresentation God. Scam. and even fraud. But it's all just marketing, son. As natural as the rocks and the trees and the melee I I see what you did there, that's Stan. Why I'm not worried. I'm awaiting final judgment of the court, but I'm certain I'll be acquitted. They don't hang people for marketing. Hmm, let's see here. Are you sure there's no way I can get a ship from- I'm afraid that's the case. Nuts. It's starting to look like LeChuck's ship really is the only available ship on the island. Yeah, I'm thinking so. Didn't you used to have a law practice or something? Used to, but I was disbarred for what we former law practitioners call moral turpitude. Is that a real word? More or less. It's one of those handy catch-all words that you can use whatever you want because it doesn't mean anything specific. Are you sure you don't want me to break you out? 115%, son. But thanks. Okay. Well, is there anything else I can do for you? Now that you mention it, there is one thing I've been missing during my time here in this crafty establishment. In all the rush and fuss and document shredding surrounding my arrest, I completely forgot to grab my toothbrush. If you happen to be passing by the shipyard, you might grab hmm. it for me. It'll be on my desk in the office. Sure thing. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. The secret? Boy, that takes me back. But if you're looking for help, you're barking up the wrong enchilada. Just remember, life has no guarantees or warranties. Only jamborees. Thanks. Jamborees. That's advice. See you later. Yep. All right. So we explored the jail. We talked to boots in here, son. It's like a swamp. Stan and Otis. At least this jail has two lamps. Yeah, we are living the life. Oh, aren't you? No trivia card in here? It's, what is that? I don't remember this place being so leaky. They finally installed running water. How about that? There's a trivia card. How's your day going? Is it one that we can answer? How many skeletons are in the water on Terra Island Beach? I don't know. I'm wondering if the trivia cards will like, sort of like, I don't want to say respawn, but like show up again. All right, so I think, is this the governor's mansion? Take away, take the back way to the island's interior. Okay, well, that's going to do it here as we wade our way into uh, part one. And next time we come, we're going to go into the governor's mansion, see what's cracking in there. And then we got to get to that meeting, I think, with everybody else so that we can uh, probably plead our case about a ship or go steal the chucks at some point. But um, be good to each other, man. And I will see you back here to continue the Monkey Island adventure. We're about an hour and some change into it, and I hope you are, too. So if we're just chilling, listening to the game, cool. 
and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.